Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button, it helps a lot. And also keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are during Power Hour on Monday, August 30th. I wanted to share my swing trade buys for the day. And I just will preface this by saying these first, first few tickers are going to be a little bit different than what you've seen in the previous swing trade videos because in my newsletter that I sent out last night, I focused a portion of the newsletter on momentum trades, momentum stocks, because there's several that have come up lately that have been holding really well day over day. And I think that that sort of mind frame <laughs> just kind of carried through to today. I started to look at some of them and thought that they could have a, f a place in my swing trading positions. Now that this is sort of like a trial. I don't know if they will. This could backfire for sure. And if so, and it doesn't work out, then I'll just keep a tight stop loss, limit my losses and throw it out and just go back to what was working previously. If it does show some potential, then I'll add it in as an additional part of my strategy and, and sort of mix it in when it makes sense. But the strategy so far has been working really well. And so I don't want to totally upend everything. But if there are ways in which I can add stuff, then happy to do that. Now, Root is the first one here. Root, obviously having a big volume day today. We see almost 50 million so far. And a nice bullish crossover here. This really aided by this huge run up after hours on Friday, I guess into close and then after hours on Friday. So we'll see if we can get anything like that going again today or not. I mean, so far this has struggled a bit today on these low points. It, it hasn't like it didn't catch itself there. And then it came down here and it tried to run up, but then it quickly retraced most of that. Now, you know, trying to establish another floor here. So the question is just sort of like, where is it going at this point? Obviously, that's a different time frame than the tr you know the daily that I was focused in on to make the trades. But to my mind, bullish crossover, big volume jump recently, establishing over the 20 MA and batting itself between the 20 and the 50. So it's sort of an interesting area to see if it can establish over that 50 and drag that 20 MA with it, which would then have a bullish crossover of the MAs and could add additional fodder to the cannon if there's going to be one and if not then i'll look for it to reject hard off that 50 come down toward you see the ma 20 right now is just at six dollars and 27 cents so that's about my risk per share at the moment and if it closes below that in the coming days i would plan to just exit the position and cut losses there any fits a similar situation it had this huge gap up came down filled the gap with this candlestick here, and now is starting to retrace back and, and is picking up buy volume again. Bullish crossover on the MACD, and I'm sort of interested to see where this one could go. The 20 MA is pretty far below, so I may have a, a stop loss more along this 525, 530 range, because that's actually quite a bit. I mean, it's dollars wise, it's, it's quite a bit uh, from where it is at the moment. So I'm hoping that I can at least get this to that plus 5% uh, green level so that I can set a trailing stop loss on it uh, and or just decipher what could be happening at the moment. But um, I thought that this one was worth a look in a position. And then ATIF, now it rejected hard off of these like it went through all of these MAs uh, today and rejected off of them and now sitting down below the 20. So I wanted to see if this can affect this bullish crossover, if that's just sort of not going to happen. Obviously, it has this gap here that it left uh, ever so slightly if you take into account the wicks. But it also had this down gap previously. Um, was this the one that I was looking at that had something similar play out previously? Let me pull out to the year to date here. So, huh, I'm not seeing it at the moment. It may not have been this one. Oh no, it may have been this, this big drop down here. And then it sort of stabilized for several days and then it had this big jump up. You see here, this huge jump in volume and then established over the 20 and then was able to run up quite a bit. Now we see over here, big jump down, big gap down, and then big volume up. 
right? And now it's trying to test that 20. So if history could repeat itself, I don't know if it would, and just because this happened previously doesn't mean anything, but I do take those things into account in this sort of vein that history, to the extent that it could repeat itself on a ticker, it may give an additional data point to at least have a better potential for a setup going my way versus just throwing stuff at the wall. Uh, so that I'm watching that for the time being. Stop loss on this is going to be a little bit tougher. I might have to keep it to a percentage because if we can't get over this 20 MA, then I'm a bit in no man's land here. You know, the bottom of this wick could be a good option. This like 20 or sorry, $2.89, $2.90 region. Uh, but we'll just have to see. Um, AVGO is the last of these sort of momentum plays for the day, I think. Yeah. And this had a big gap up here. I see this increasing buy volume. Now it peeled off a little bit from Friday, but still this is holding up higher than normal. And um, obviously a pretty pricey stock, but we'll see where it could go. It has this big crossover at the moment. Uh, the, the MACD line pinging itself right off that baseline and just rocketing upward. So I'm interested to see what happens. I'm hoping this 20 MA comes up quite a bit because I, um, you know, otherwise I have like a $15 or so stop loss on it, but we'll see. I mean, that's not the end of the world. Like I said, this is sort of like these, these four tickers at the moment are kind of like trial tickers to see if this hypothesis can play out and have a, a wor uh, sorry, can have space in my swing trade strategy. If not, I'll go back to focusing these types of trades on intraday and then leaving my swing trades to the, the previous setups that we've been talking about along the way. Now, Zoom, I know this is kind of a messy chart just because I've been watching Zoom for quite a while. Now, Zoom having a big green candlestick or big green volume today, I should say, bullish crossover could be coming. So it's a little bit of a chancy position. Also, this previous supply and demand zone that I had charted still holding up this 30 no, sorry, 347.09 ish area. I don't know exactly where it is because the price is too close to it, but it's hitting its head on that at the moment. But if it can establish over that, we should get some support from the 20 MA swooping down uh, and underneath, hopefully, in the coming days. If not, and this MACD setup turns against me, then I'll sort of take that as a potential cut loss signal. Um, but, you know, have to rely on these supply and demand zones and the MACD uh, and the volume as potential indicators of stop loss when I don't have that MA underneath or if the MA feels too far underneath to want to risk it. Now, GIB coming in with some solid green volume today. The 200 MA is rushing in for additional support, testing over the 20 MA at the moment, which could then unlock a run toward the 50, obviously, and then a slew of Bullish crossovers could occur, the MACD being one, the 20 crossing over the 50, and um, then we could be sort of off, off to the races. We'll see. But if not, and it can't hold this 20, and certainly if that MACD crossover doesn't happen, or if it just sort of like fiddles about and weaves, bobs and weaves above and below, then I'll take that as sort of a signal that's okay, this isn't going to go anywhere, and best to place the... Um, liquidity <laughs> the funds elsewhere and um all right so that's what i grabbed today and we'll see what happens in the coming days and uh tomorrow you know, i'm interested to see where we open up and and there's a few others that i'm watching closely crm salesforce apple neo i've been watching for a while um uh lee and xpav i've been watching also quite a bit yeah palantir i'm in tdoc seem to be getting close. So I thought that there could be something interesting here. I want to see it establish over that 20. This one, KMTUY, I stared at for a while. I almost took a position, but I'm just not familiar enough with it. And I want to see what it does with this test. These 50 and the 20 MA are close enough where I'd like to see them cross over as sort of maybe at the same time as the MACD crosses over as well. So I'm watching that one quite closely as well. All right, so a couple bonus stickers there of what you could see coming in the next few days, depending on how they go. But I hope your trading week got off to a good start today. And uh, welcome back after the weekend. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.